George from Upfish, your marketing automation expert. And today I'm going to run you through a cold outbound scenario for scraping map, Google map information from Google Maps. Now this is really good if you work with in a certain geography. So let's just say you're based in London and you only work with construction companies and you want to just basically go onto Google Maps, type in construction companies, and get in contact with all of the results. Um, this is a really, really simple one to run, so it should go quite quickly. The first step is to open up an account with Appify, A-P-I-F-Y, and then go to the Google Maps scraper in the store. Uh, this is a great scraper, and what it will do is it will basically uh, allow you to put in a search term. So for this example, I'm using manufacturing. Um, I'm looking for a certain location, Hill Mayor in Santorin. You could also do London, UK, New York, um, and any, any location you want. You put in the amount of search places you want to respond. So I've gone for 10 just to make the example easy, but you could put in 100, you could put in 1,000, whatever you want. And then there's a few more details here. So this is really, really easy to set up. And best of all, with Appify, it's basically free. Each one of these runs will cost you basically 20 cents, um, but you get $5 a month with Appify free plan. So you can run this at least like 100 times in a month, no problem. Uh, so basically, once you have this set up, the next step is to go into your uh, make.com scenario, my Appify Automator. Here we have an Appify module that basically watches for actor runs. So each time you create a new search, basically you just come in here and you change the webhook to whichever you want it to be. In my case, I've set it up for the Google Maps. What it will do is every time it runs, it will get alerted. And then when it finishes running, it will collect the data set. So here in this data set, for example, it's returned me the URL of a company that works in manufacturing. Uh, they're called Talu de Khui. They're a butcher shop. So again, it, it's not perfect because this is based on Google map data, but we, we come into cleaning that up later. But essentially, in my case, as you can see here, I asked for 10 results and it has responded with 10 results. I then add these to a Google Sheets. So I have an Appify template here. So it gets the map URL, the search term I was looking for, the company name, subtitle, description, industry, the address, the city, the website, the phone. And as you can see here, the industry I was looking for manufacturing has come up with olive oil manufacturers, bread manufacturers, wineries, um, other manufacturers, basically <laughs> exactly what I was looking for. So the next stage here is to check, does the website exist? Because we want to contact people. We don't want to send emails to hello at or info at. We don't want anything generic. We want something specific. For that, we need a website. We need a domain. So it looks for those websites. If I wanted to add in an extra filter here, I could also add in, for example, where the industry, so the category name here, contains manufacturing or is equal to um, whatever, whatever I want. So I was looking for construction, for example, and I only want construction companies. I don't want building supplies. I don't want building materials. I can add in an extra filter here. Uh, but basically after that, it's a normal outbound flow. So we have a uh, Apollo.io searching for people. So I've added in the job titles I want, the seniority and the website it finds here. It then returns the people. I'm looking for two people for each company. So we can see here, it's found basically six uh, out of those 10 companies, six of them had people working for them. So they're on LinkedIn. So we can see here, there's somebody. They're a marketing external communications director at a company, nobody. Um, it returns me the company info, the person info. And then I check in the Airtable, does this person already exist? So using the same CRM we use for all of the other automations, it essentially looks through here, the cold, warm, hot database of people. And it searches against the uh, Apollo ID to see, does this person exist or not? I've already started talking to them because we don't want to duplicate things. If this Thomas Gronholm is already on an outbound campaign, I don't want to put him on another one and then another one. So this is just a way of discounting people who we're already talking to. Okay, so once we've already searched and we've checked that they exist, if they don't, then it moves on to the next stage. So this is an important part because it's cold outbound. We want to make sure that we're emailing actual email addresses. If not, our sender reputation goes down. So the first filter here is, is the email verified or not? If the email isn't verified, then it comes into my bounceless.io module here. Essentially, this will just check to see, is this email verified? If it's not, we add them to the CRM just to let them know that we found this person. If I want to follow them up manually, I can do, but the email is not verified, so we don't send them anything. If it does find a verified email, then it basically replicates what happens above here. Email verified, they get added to reply.io campaign. So we have a campaign set up for this to basically say, hello, you work in the same town I work in, I'm a specialist, let's talk. 
Uh, it also gets added to a LinkedIn matched audience. So based on their email, their first name, their last name. We tried to put this onto an ad audience I have running on LinkedIn. The reason for this is because it's pretty cheap to run just generic brand awareness ads on LinkedIn. And I find that by serving them these ads to say, hello, my name's George, marketing automation expert. Once they receive the cold email, chances are they already know about me. So it makes them a little bit more receptive to respond to the emails. It's not completely cold anymore. Uh, you can also swatch, uh, swap this out for a Facebook matched audience, for example, if that's your channel of choice, uh, Twitter. Uh, I use LinkedIn because I, I work B2B. And once they've been added in, if, uh, if they basically been managed to, uh, to find an ad audience to connect them to, then they can create a record. And if for whatever reason it doesn't match them, then it also creates a record. So the reason for this is uh, on my LinkedIn, I use my personal email address to log in, but I also have various work email addresses. If this finds a work email address which isn't connected to a personal email address, it can't run an ad. So it goes into one. Uh, if it does, then it goes into another. A another workaround here is actually, I'm using uh, a matched audience based on users. You can actually change it to companies. So if I look at the earlier example of that lady from Norbury, and I can say that I want everybody in Norbury who is a director and works in marketing to receive those ads. So it wouldn't just be her, it would be her colleagues too, which again makes it a bit much more likely someone will respond if they have an internal communication. Um, in this particular case, I haven't done that, but it's easy to do. So in essence, as you can see here, it's a pretty simple and straightforward automation. You set up an actor in Appify with your particular search terms for the geography you want to search and the keywords you want to search. It finds them, it adds them to a Google Sheet. So you can have a list here of everybody that you've managed to find. It also adds them to an outbound campaign through reply.io, it adds them to an ad campaign in LinkedIn, and it also adds them to your CRM so you have centralized tracking. Uh, again, this is a really useful outbound scenario for people who work with specific geographies. So if this is something you would like, it's available on my Gumroad to download, but if you have something more complex or less complex based on this, please just get in contact and I can set you one up. All right, thank you.